So quickly, before the video starts, I have a giveaway with my new Twitter account, which I made. It's free to join, you just have to follow me. And it's a Stat Track Classic Slaughter worth like 500 euro on the Steam Market. Link is in the description. And on this new Twitter account, I'll be tweeting a lot of stuff about skins and a lot about trading. Many people I've seen are interested in the trades I make, how I trade, what skins I buy, what skins I don't buy. And this is basically where I post stuff like that. Also, I'm posting tips how to not get scammed. On this account, I'm also buying and selling skins because I see many people are getting scammed. So I wanted to buy and sell skins for a good price safely so that you guys don't get scammed. That's why my DMs are open. So if you want to buy or sell skins, then you can DM me. But please only DM me if you actually want to buy or sell something because otherwise it's just spam. It takes a lot of time and I'm not going to reply. But if you're just interested in skins and how I trade, then hit that follow button. Link in the description. Now, let's get on with the video. Hello guys, it's your boy Anomaly from Mass with them. And in today's video, as you can see, it's very early, which means we have a goddamn CS update. In today's CS update, of course, they closed Operation Shattered Web, they removed the maps Breach and Studio, and added the maps Anubis and Chlorine, but they're only added to Casual, Deathmatch, and Scrimmage, so no new competitive maps yet. They made some fixes to some characters and game stuff. Also, apparently, they added so you can get the Half-Life Alex stuff, even if you're VAC banned. And finally, and for me, maybe most importantly, they added the Prisma 2 case. Introducing Prisma 2 case, 17 community designed weapon finish and horizon knives in chroma finishes as rare special items. Oi, oi, oi. And also, I'm sorry I'm making this video so late. I usually record it right when it's released at like 3 a.m. But yesterday I had stayed up all night, so I slept too long. But still, this update's awesome. So here are the new skins. The Aug Tomcat looks decent, but you can see why it's a blue. The Op Capillary, we actually have a 5-7 of these already, and this is a decent skin, I guess. Ooh, CC Distressed. This one looks very cool, almost like a copper gold sort of thing. I think I like this one a lot. The Deagle Blue Ply, which kind of looks like the red or black laminate, but blue this time. Very cool. The MP5 Desert Strike, like the M4 Desert Strike, not very cool. Negev Prototype, this is is decent, I guess, but I kind of don't like these futuristic skins. R8 Bone Forged. This one is actually cool. Also has this sort of copper feel. I like the handle a lot. Very, uh, very cool. And now we get into the purples. P2000 Acid Etched. I like this one a lot. I wonder if there are different patterns. Maybe you can get the pattern which is very colorful. This one definitely passed the vibe check. Sword of Apocalypto. This is very <laughs> appropriate now considering coronavirus and considering the video I posted yesterday on the second channel, which is about the apocalypse. If you haven't seen that one yet, link in the description. This sword off is awesome. Look at the watch on the hand, which looks like it's on the handle, and the earth there, and then the, uh, the galaxy in the background. This one looks very good. Next up, Scar 20 Enforcer. I like the colors. I don't like these, like, uh, futuristic metallic things, but the, the gradient here, very nice. Ooh, SG Dark Wing. This one also looks very cool. This one almost looks like those hyper beast skins like very detailed a lot of color But this one is less like cartoony next up SSG fever dream We have of course the op fever dream now. We have the scout version. This one looks very cool as well Ooh, AK phantom disruptor what? This is a very cool AK skin. It doesn't, like, remind me of any other AK skin either. Yeah, I think this one would be kind of expensive. Mac 10 Discotech. Okay, I mean... Yeah, I guess that works. I probably wouldn't pick this one as a pink, but I guess, yeah. Ooh, Mag 7 Justice! God damn! This has to be from the same collection as the Empress and the Emperor, right? And the Op Mortis, it looks the same style. This one looks very good. And now for the reds, we have, oh, M4A1S Player 1. This is awesome. This looks very similar as the Aug Akihabara. And it says, I love skins there in the back. Oh my god, really? Okay. 
Okay, this one, I'm definitely gonna need to get one of these. And finally, Glock Bullet Queen. This one's also cool. Also has a little lady on it. I like the color scheme, black and yellow. They go very well together. All in all, I think these skins definitely pass the vibe check. And speaking about the skins, the knives, as I said, are the Horizon knives in chroma finishes. I guess that just means it's these knives, the Stiletto Ursus, Navaha, and Talon, but in the chroma finishes, and the chroma finishes are just the regular, you know, Doppler and Damascus Steel and Ultra Violet. And that's kind of boring, because we already have those uh, in-game. So there's no new knives, uh, it seems like. But let's see what the cases cost. Oof, that's expensive! Ay, ay, ay! They're nine euro each, what the fuck? <laughs> let's go ahead and buy five. Five of these are 45 euro, what? Oh no, it didn't even buy, it only bought two. Buy three more for... 9.2 each? Oh no. Okay, there we go. Now I have them. Okay. They look really cool. The old Prisma, I can't- I think it's just white in the background. Yeah, the old Prisma case is just white in the background and this border is black. Now this is silver and the background is black. It looks pretty cool, actually. And yeah, as I said, these knives are the ones that I think are gonna be in the case, which means, yeah, more rubies and sapphires and black pearls, but no new knife skins. I guess we just go ahead and open them. <laughs> now, before I open this, let me check some of these skins uh, in game as I wanted to. This one looks actually really good now that I check it in game. I'm sad that it isn't like shiny and glossy. It's matte, but it still looks decent. And I wanted to see this one. Mmm, okay, uh, I don't know. And then I wanted to see this one. Oh my god, yeah, this one looks amazing. Okay, I'm gonna take it back. The Enforcer Scar actually looks really good. It's like a fade now that I see it in-game. That looks really cool. Here, this AK Phantom I wanted to see as well. Yeah, it looks really cool. And then this one. Yeah, this has to be the same creator as the, uh, the other skins, like I said. This looks like someone took, like, an Overwatch screenshot and just, like, pasted it onto a skin. This could be a character in Overwatch watch and then you know this has a background <laughs> and m4 player 2 oh yeah this is a really good skin i love skins <laughs> yeah that, that this is a really good looking skin it looks like mega man over there but i guess it's not i guess that's supposed to be a ct but still yeah definitely this is a very cool skin it even has details you might not notice like it says gg there i love skins here it says csgo back here i don't know what it says here on the silencer because i can't read that to be frank i can barely read to begin with <laughs> yeah yeet oh come on baby oh no only blues oh i mean that's that's not very good the key to an agent's heart costs four thousand seven hundred fifty dollars <laughs> yes thankfully hookers are a lot less expensive this one i'd say is decent it looks better than the five seven but still that that doesn't mean much <laughs> okay next case uh what pam i can't believe i bought these so early so they're so expensive it's stupid as shit actually <laughs> nay oh my god nay <laughs> Why? Oh, it's also field tested. Oh, no. Okay, let's go again. Whoopam! Something other than a blue would be very nice, actually. Okay. Eagle-eyed and extremely lethal. You won't find a more dangerous, flightless bird. What? Is this like a fucking chicken? It looks all right. This isn't my favorite from the from the case. So the fourth case now. Whoopam! I'm gonna be opening these when they drop in the price a lot. It's gonna be... I think this case is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, Stat Track Desert Strike, though. Minimal wear. As I said, this isn't my favorite skin by any means. Also, as I said, you can see here, the Operation Shattered Web is missing. Thankfully, though, I got the diamond coin before the operation ended, and uh, it doesn't seem like you can get the cases as drops. And as you can see here, the Shattered Web cases are going up in price pretty fast. I bought a lot of these before the operation stopped. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> because you can see here, the price is going pretty stable, and then all of a sudden... Oh. <laughs> okay, the fifth case. Oh, what pam Oh, it was so long ago I opened a, a knife from a case, actually. Nemen, oh my god, are you, f are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Op capillary battle scarred. Nice. Well, that's fucking ass. I'm gonna open three more cases, actually, because I, I can't go out like that. <laughs> what pam I mean, something good. I'll be very happy. Okay, at least it's a new skin. It's the blue ply desert eagle, which frankly looks a lot <laughs> like the AK uh, laminates. But yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah, yeet. Oh, 
Okay. Unlucky. And finally, Wapam. Oh my god. And I get the skin I hated the most. <laughs> Okay, let's load into the new maps just to quickly see what they're about. These might never make it into competitive mode, so I won't be checking them too much in depth. I just want to get an overview because you can see like they're available for casual. Let's be honest, who plays casual? No one. Th that's who. <laughs> okay, so I quickly checked the map. Uh, I'm not, I'm pretty sure this one will never see a uh, competitive play because it's it's a weird map, to be honest. That's a nice waterfall. But yeah, the aesthetics of the map, this looks really cool. Like, I'm gonna use this for screenshots for skins 100%. This looks really good, actually. Holy shit. This is cool, though. It has a map in-game that actually looks like it's supposed to be part of the map. So here's the B-site, this huge obelisk. And, I mean, this one isn't the most... The most stunning thing I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Things like these look really beautiful as well. Holy shit. And here is the A site. The sites on this map don't look too cool, to be honest. But if you check, like, the surroundings, that looks really cool. <laughs> Let's check the chlorine map as well. So here's the next map, chlorine. And as you can see, behind T-spawn, it says the Aztec. And this is actually part of the Aztec map, which looks really cool, actually. Of course, he didn't build, like, the whole map. But just to tie that into, like, the lore looks really nice. So here's the B site. It doesn't look too cool either until you look up and it's like a galaxy. You can see the whole universe. This looks very cool. And then here's the middle, which is very, like, open and very large. That's pretty refreshing. <laughs> and they have a mini bridge here, like, from Aztec. And here's the A site, which, uh... Looks decent, I guess. It seems to be a very small area you can plant in, if that's what this is. And you have a little water slide over here, so... That looks pretty nice, actually. To be honest, I don't like the Aztec map, but uh, I definitely like this one more than I like the Aztec one. Because of the design revamp, you know? And maybe that wasn't middle. Maybe this is middle. I, I don't know. Anyways, both maps, very cool. Definitely passes the vibe check. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, the new Prisma 2 case opening and uh, skin review. But thank you for watching, boys. Now I'm going to go back to bed. <laughs>